July 1990. This is it. I'm done with Iceland. Done with the military. Uh, at the end of the month, I actually took two weeks of what they call terminal leave. Because uh, my year in Iceland was up. I still had two weeks left uh, in my enlistment. And I had a bunch of leave saved up because I didn't take any the year I was in Iceland. So I sold back some and then took two weeks terminal leave, which means I got out, got to go home, and got paid for two weeks. Uh, but I did a little bit of reading in the month. Not a lot, because I was busy packing things up and getting ready to go home uh, and become a civilian again. But what did I read, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Um, I feel like... I read this stuff when I was home, but I don't know. I can't remember the, all the details. Anyway, the first thing that I read in July of 1990, 90, excuse me, was The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. Do I have to tell anybody what this is about? Clarice Starling, Hannibal Lecter, Buffalo Bill. Uh, I had seen the movie Manhunter uh, and loved it. When I walked out of the theater, I checked the poster, so it was based on a book called Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, bought it and read it. So as soon as Silence of the Lambs came out, as soon as I could, I got a copy and I read that too. And it's a great book. Uh, they're the only two books I've read by Thomas Harris, Red Dragon and Silence of the Lambs. But uh, I really enjoyed both of them. Good stuff. So, there. I mean, again, do I have to tell you it's Silence of the Lambs? Next up is Shadow Dancers by Herbert... Lieberman. I uh, don't remember anything about this. I had to look it up. So apparently the main character is Lieutenant Frank Mooney. And there's a serial killer running around uh, abducting, raping, killing women. And But the killer, who is a female accomplice, realizes that there's a copycat doing what they're doing. So Mooney's trying to find one killer... The killer and his accomplice are trying to find a different killer because they don't like being copycatted, I guess. Uh, can't say if it's good or not. Don't remember anything at all about it. Two serial killer books in a row, though. And then maybe three, depending on how you look at it, because the next one is The Further Adventures of the Joker, edited by Martin H. Greenberg. Uh, I have a bunch of these Further Adventures of books, I do not have this one. There's two that I don't have. I'll tell you. I have Further Adventures of Superman. Further Adventures of Batman, which came out when the Michael Keaton Batman movie came out. Then you had Further Adventures of uh, a Penguin. Further Adventures of Catwoman. I have all those. I do not have Further Adventures of the Joker. I do not have Further Adventures of Wonder Woman. But, that's a lot of stuff I just said. That wasn't about this book. And essentially, it's just a collection of short stories about the Joker. A uh, bunch of different authors. All one subject. Uh, some big name authors back in the day. And, uh, I mean, it's short stories about the Joker. What's not to love? I will someday have a copy of this again. This one and Wonder Woman. But, for now, we're talking about Further Adventures of the Joker. That was book number three that I read in July of 1990. Next up, we have Zen to Go by John Winokur. And this is just a compilation of sayings. Uh, Zen sayings. So there's a whole bunch by Zen masters, but then you also have sayings by people like uh, Ms. Manners, Allen Ginsberg, Yogi Berra, because a lot of the stuff... Yogi Berra, you know, those twisted things that he would say uh, are considered Zen type of things, sayings. Um, this obviously, again, this sort of falls into my whole interest in Eastern philosophy. I haven't really talked about that too much, I don't think. But if you've watched these videos and seen uh, uh, some of the stuff that I've read, you can see I have this interest uh, and it's a fun, simple little book. Again, it's just a bunch of sayings. Uh, just a bunch of quotes, essentially. Um, but it's a nice, fun little book. And then finally, there's only one more book 
I read five things in July. As I said, busy becoming a civilian. But the last book is Trace and the and not the Trace and Forty Seven Miles of Rope by Warren Murphy. I think this is Signet. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, part of the Trace series, Devlin Tracy. Uh, is a ne'er-do-well, essentially, but he works as an investigator for an insurance company. They call him when no one else can figure out uh, a case if someone if there's insurance fraud. In this case, he's in Vegas, and there's a crazy cast of characters. There's a, a corpse. Someone's a mysterious man has been murdered. Millions of dollars worth of stuff has been stolen. Trace has to uh, figure it out. These are fun mysteries trace is a fun character uh i i like the the books that i have in this series and i don't have all of them have these quotes on the front i don't know why i like that i just like this or i shouldn't say quotes but dialogue parts a part of the book is right there on the front i don't know my fletch books have that i love it on the fletch books love it on these don't know why it's just a thing but the trace books are a lot of fun warren murphy is the author of, co-creator, co-author of the uh, the Destroyer, the Remo Williams books, at least for a while. Eventually someone else took over. All right, that's it. Only five books in July. So um, I have a question for you, and that question is, do you have any interest in prose based on comic books, prose novels, or prose short story collections. Um, and if you do, have you read any? And what are your favorites? Tossing that aside. Uh, I have, if I look over here, there's one shelf. It's not a huge long shelf, but it's a good size shelf. It's all DC. Um, and there's actually a couple hardbacks on the shelf above it. Uh, but so... Most of that is original. The hardbacks are all novelizations. There's uh, The Killing Joke, Mad Love, and The Court of Owls. I haven't read any of those yet. They're relatively new. But I've got a bunch of Batman novels. There's a Green Lantern trilogy. I have two. The first two. I don't have the third one. I don't know if it ever came out in paperback. So I'm going to have to either have two paperbacks and a hardback. I don't know, but I got to get that last one. There's a series of Justice League books uh, that each, uh, most of them focus on a single character, and then there's one where they're all together. Uh, then there's further of books, and then there's some other DC original novels, and then there's uh, one Hellblazer, John Constantine original novel that I have. There's a second one I don't have. Uh, over here now, we'll go over here. Many, many more. Oh, well, we'll start over here. My Marvel stuff. Uh, so there's a ton of hardbacks, a ton of paperbacks. There's a ton that I don't have that I used to. Uh, there's some are novelizations of stories. Eh, the majority, maybe, are original. I've got some one, two, three, four, five omnibuses that reprint older stuff that I used to have. So there's three of them were trilogies. And so all three books are printed in each of the Omni, Omni by, uh, and then two of them, one's a Wolverine that just has three different Wolverine novels. One's a Spider-Man that has three different Spider-Man novels. Uh, I've got some short story collections. There was, a uh, some great, Short story collections, they put out Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Silver Surfer, Ultimate Supervillains. Uh, there's others that I don't have at the moment. Then there's these new books that are coming out from Aconite. I've read two of them so far. I really enjoyed them. There's a whole bunch uh, that are out that I want to get, that coming out. Really some that I'm looking forward to very, very much. Uh, plus there's some Hellboy novels over there. Um, and... Eh, that might be it there. And then over here, again, we go back here. In the 70s, Marvel put out some novels. I have all of those on a shelf over here. And I loved those. The covers are amazing. 
and just different. There's an Iron Man one, a Doctor Strange, a Fantastic Four. There's one that has maybe three different stories in it, like an Avengers story, a Daredevil. I swear there's at least a third one. I can't remember. There's a couple with Spider-Man, one with Spider-Man and the Hulk. Um, so, obviously, I think that I'm looking around. I think that's it. Um, technically, the character Grendel, created by Matt Wagner, there's a, I have these four volumes of the Grendel, Grendel Omnibus, Greg Rucka wrote a Grendel novella, maybe, that's in one of those, I know there's, um, well, I don't know if these would count as, <clears throat> excuse me, comic book novels. Well, The Crow definitely does. There's Crow novels and a Crow short story collection. <clears throat> there have been some Transformers novels before the movies that you could either look at as cartoon, I guess, or comic book. I believe there was also Micronauts novels, which again could be... Was that ever a cartoon? I know it was a toy line, obviously, and a comic book. Still a comic book. Both are. Um, Powers by Brian Michael Bendis. And I want to say Michael Avenoming. I think I could be wrong about that. So actually, if you know, let me know who the artist was on that. Uh, there's, I know there's a Powers novel. There's a Sandman short story collection. There's a Fables novel. Um, there's others that, that I can't think of. There's one on the oh uh, oh. I don't know. I'm rambling at this point, I think, and I don't know if you're interested in any of this, but the, um, oh, there, there's another one I can't think of, and there may be many more. Uh, oh, I've got Vampirella novels. Um, they're in a stack over here somewhere. It's going to bug me now because I can picture one of the covers very clearly. I can't remember if it was a Kurt Busiek comic book but anyway obviously tons of comic book stuff out there uh, I've got Dick Tracy stuff but that's more comic strip although there have been comic books excuse me gonna take a drink mm, Ms. Tree the great Max Allen Collins comic book he did a Ms. Tree novel which is fantastic um, all right I'm Anyway, so obviously I'm into it. I love it. I'm such a huge comic book fan that I'll take my comic book characters in just about any form I can get them. Uh, there's a ton I haven't even read yet. Although I think I've read most of the DC, except for the new ones. Uh, but there's a bunch of the Marvel stuff I have not read yet. Uh, and I haven't read all the Hellboy stuff. Uh, there's three, maybe four Hellboy short story collections. I know Brian Keene has a story in at least one. Some great authors in there. Um, and great authors writing the, the novels as well. Uh, yeah, tons, tons of... A lot of the older 90s, 80s, 90s, early aughts, Marvel novels, like Christopher Golden wrote a couple. Um, Jim Butcher, if you're a Jim Butcher fan, he wrote one of the Spider-Man novels that I have in the Omnibus. I had the actual paperback... I gave it to my nephew when I got the omnibus. But, you know, Jim Butcher of the Dresden Files wrote a Spider-Man novel. Anyway, okay, so that's my whole ramble on comic book prose. I love it. Um, do I have a favorite? Oof, man, maybe it's just because it's fresh in my mind, but I really, really loved the Elsa Bloodstone, the new one from that came from Aconite. I don't remember the author's name off the top of my head. I do know she's writing a new one, a Black Cat novel for Aconite. She just announced that. Uh, but yeah, that Elsa Bloodstone was really, really good. Um, the I, I did a review of the Helltown by Denny O'Neill, or Dennis O'Neill, which is the origin, the retelling, sort of a rebooted origin of The Question, who's one of my favorite comic book characters. That was really well done. Joe Lansdale, his Batman novel, of course, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, man, hard to pick a favorite. Oh, there's even Thunderbolts, 
and the Avengers. That one's good. There's the X-Men and Star Trek, and it's the next generation. In the comics, they did X-Men and the original series. This is X-Men and the next generation. That one was good. There's one with the X-Men that's got Marvel's version of Dracula in it. That one's good. Man, it is tough to choose. But I'm going to... The Morbius book was pretty good. The Doctor Doom book is really good. Man, you're, why? Why do I have to choose? Why do I put myself in this position? Um, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you a favorite because I can't think of one right now. It's it's enough that you know I love this stuff. How do you feel about it? Have you read any? Are you? If not, are you interested in reading any? Let me know. Uh, and on that note, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections. Please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd care to follow me on any other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. And my Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comics, board games, and fuzzy animals, is ericsmith5757. That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. That's all I've got for you. So until next time, read more books.